Hello everyone, welcome back to Je Deux Rose. Today's video is the final video in my gifting guide series and I'm going to share with you some candles. I feel like candles are truly the perfect gift, not just for the holiday season, but for a lot of different occasions, whether you have a fancy dinner to go to, a housewarming, or you want to have a little intention for a loved one. I feel you can't really go wrong with candles, so I wanted to put together a list of candles that, in my opinion, would be great to give as gifts. So I'm going to go straight into two candles from Lalique. We have Plume Blanche and also The Night Nairobi, Kenya. Now this part of the video is a paid for integrated partnership in collaboration with Lalique and you can find both of these candles at Harrods and also at the Lalique boutique in Mayfair. So I'm going to start off with Plume Blanche which is my favorite of the two. Can we just appreciate the packaging? A beautiful gold and white Art Nouveau peacock motif, so precious. If you or the person you are gifting to loves delicate and elegant scents, this is the candle you should go for. It's a soft, floral, musky aroma with notes of violet leaves, which brings a crisp freshness, blended with some sheer jasmine notes laced with the warmth of benzoin and almond. It smells like freshly peeled almonds laced with a delicate white floral note. It's soft, peaceful and relaxing. And luckily, this also comes as an eau de parfum, which is great because this smells amazing. If you love almond or the person that you are gifting to loves almonds, you're going to love this candle as well. If the person you are gifting for is more into fruity scents, then I would recommend you go for the Night Nairobi Kenya. This candle was inspired by the night sky in Kenya and is a rich, fruity, floral scent that basically smells like a sweet plum compote that you could imagine accompanying a Christmas dinner. A rich plum-like scent. It's also complemented with iris, jasmine, and a touch of coffee. The packaging is also beautiful. It's adorned with birds, so swallows or hirondelles, that are revealed as the light shines through when the candle is burned. Truly magical and adds something a little extra. If you are looking for the ultimate winter candle, I would recommend you try Charcoal Woods by Nest. What I find with the scents from Nest is that they are very strong so it will have a great diffusion which is fab because this smells really lovely so to me this candle smells like crackling logs by the fireplace smoky woods very woody intensely wintry scent imagine you have spent the day out on a cold, crisp winter morning. You're in the woods and you come home and you just curl up by the fireplace and the smell of the crackling fire is what Charcoal Woods makes me think of. If you want an ultimate winter candle, this is the one I would recommend. For those who are gourmand lovers, who like sweet fragrances, I feel like you really can't go wrong with a fantastic vanilla scent whether it's a fragrance or a candle. And since we're talking about candles today, the one that I would recommend is Vanilla Bean by Bath & Body Works. And the really nice bonus with this candle is that it is very affordable for what you're getting. This one is a three-wick candle. As you can see, I am almost out, but I've been burning it for a really long time. So you do get a lot out of this candle. And as I said, it's affordable, so you're not gonna break the bank when it comes to this candle from Bath & Body Works. It is a soft, yummy vanilla scent, almost as if it's vanilla frosting. Fluffy Betty Crocker vanilla frosting. This is what it smells like. Oh, so good. It's very nostalgic. Think cupcake vanilla frosting in a candle. This is what this candle smells like. And it's another one that has a very, very strong diffusion. I find that Bath & Body Works also have super strong candles, so you will be able to smell this very easily all throughout the house. Vanilla Bean by Bath & Body Works. Next up, we have a candle from Dittique, and this is my second one that I've purchased, and I will continue purchasing this scent because it is truly outstanding. It is called Opopanex. Now you probably know Diptyque has a great range of candles. Like there's a large selection, but this one is one that I always come back to. And whenever my candle is finished, I will repurchase again and again and again because this is a magical, magical scent. I find that this candle in particular would make a great gift. Say if you have 
a very fancy dinner at someone's place, the, you know, dressed up dinner, and that person has really nice things, has maybe luxurious taste, a really nice house. I would recommend going for the candle because this smells really luxurious and really beautiful. It has warm, balmy, resinous notes, touch of vanilla as well, like a vanillic undertone. So beautiful. I wish that this candle came as an eau de parfum. I would just drench myself in the scent. It is that good. Oh my gosh. Delicate, luxurious, balmy, so beautiful. And if you love amber or the person that you are looking for a candle to gift loves amber, Opopanax is one that I would recommend. Another candle that I would recommend for the winter time is L'Ile au Trésor by Les Senteurs. This is a beautiful, lactonic, spicy, woody scent. My goodness, I'm actually salivating whilst I'm smelling this scent because it's so addictive. That's all I will say about this candle. It's highly addictive and refined. So if you're looking for a refined, woody, gourmand type of candle, this is one that I would recommend going for. In fact, if you like Ex Nihilo's Atlas Fever, you're going to love this scent because I find that the two are very similar, but this is a candle form, which is fantastic because then the entire home will smell similar to Atlas Fever. It's cozy, it's a type of candle that you wanna burn when it's like dreary and raining and cold outside and you just wanna curl up with a good book, maybe a mug of hot chocolate. That is one that I would recommend burning. It just feels warm and fuzzy. Now, if you wanna move away from the vanillas, the smoky woods, the ambery type of candles, I have a fresh candle recommendation for you. It is Dea by Siloui. And Siloui happens to be my best friend's candle brand. I'm so proud of her for launching her own brand. And she has three candles. And I bought Dea for myself, but also for my mom for Christmas. So hopefully she doesn't see this video. It is a beautiful, beautiful, fresh orange blossom scent. Oh my goodness, it is stunning. If you love orange blossom, this, this is a must try. Oh my goodness. So it's orange blossom. There's also some white coffee, some fig, some musks. I would say if you like Neroli Oranger by Matière Première or Solo Blossom by Mise en Cire, this candle is gonna be right up your alley or the person that you're gifting to, if they like the two fragrances I just mentioned, they're gonna love this this candle for sure. Fresh, a little bit sweet orange blossom scent, like a fresh, musky, delicate orange blossom. It is so beautiful. And also the packaging here is stunning. Each of the bottles uh, have a bit of like this ribbed effect and they come in different colors. And I love this green, it's so pretty. And yeah, I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a great orange blossom dominant candle. And since this is a holiday gifting guide, this list wouldn't be complete without a good Christmas candle. And I have tried a lot of Christmas candles this year, more so than previous years. And the one that, in my opinion, I find to be the best one that I would gift as well, and I might actually do that. I might go to the boutique and end up buying a, that candle for someone because it is so, so beautiful. It is called Christmas A Layered Candle by Joe Loves. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Joe Loves, Joe Loves is a brand that was created by Joe Malone. And yes, Joe Malone also created the, the very well-known brand Joe Malone, which she sold many, many years ago to Estee Lauder companies, but since then has started a new brand called Joe Loves, and it's been around for a few years. And what I like about Joe Malone, the person, is that she is such a pioneer and an inventor and so creative when it comes to fragrances and like their application. Her brain is really interesting. I would love to have a peek inside her brain and understand like how, like what goes on and how she creates her fragrances and candles. But why am I saying this is because this candle, as the title of the name here says, it's a layered candle. And the idea of this candle is embody a Christmas day. So there's three layers in the candle. So you start the Christmas day, you're opening up the presents by the Christmas tree. You have the smell of the pine, this like aromatic sap, like woody notes. And then as the day progresses, you're going to have a Christmas feast. And so as the candle continues to burn, you're gonna go into layer two, which is a fruity, delicious plum pudding. So you're gonna get like a very jammy, fruity plum notes as it progresses, still blended with the pine needles from before. 
And as the day continues, you've finished your Christmas feast and then you all gather around the fire with your loved ones and just maybe read a book, play some games, just hang out with each other by a roaring warm fire. So you're gonna get a crackling firewood note at the last layer. And all of this is like blended with the notes of before. So with the plum pudding, you're gonna get a bit of the pine needles. With the log fires, you're gonna get a bit of the sweetness from the plum. So this is really cool and a really unique way of creating a candle. And as I said, in my opinion so far, this is the best Christmas candle that I've smelt this year. If you're going to someone over for Christmas or you are going over a friend's house for a Christmas party, this is a really lovely gift to give. Highly, highly recommend it. And uh, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, something a little bit different. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these candles. And also, what is your favorite candle? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.